What's up everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Crypto Lucian where we talk about everything under the moon. The crypto Universe. Today is Monday, January 1st and we have some breaking news. And that is because Bitcoin has officially hit 45,000. Now at the time of this recording, I actually saw that Bitcoin had hit 45,175. So that's pretty amazing that we've actually hit the specific price point. But why has Bitcoin pumped all of a sudden within the past 24 hours from 42,000 to 45? Well, there are rumors out there that a spot Bitcoin ETF could be announced for an approval as early as tomorrow, as Tuesday. So we're gonna dive deep into what the community is saying around the potential of a spot Bitcoin ETF being passed tomorrow, but also the other side. As much as everybody's feeling very bullish, there are also some people sharing some ideas of what to expect if there's any bearish sentiment. So let's go and cover all these different details because I'm so happy to be breaking this news to you. So before we get into all the nitty gritty details, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, Channel, don't forget to join our Patreon page. And most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I will never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email. So please be careful and invest safely. So guys and girls, let's get right into it. So right now, just based on CoinMarketCap, we can see that Bitcoin has actually retraced just a little bit. It's roughly around 44,900. But over the past 24 hours, as I said, it's gone up at least above 5%. What's really crazy is that right now we're seeing that Bitcoin is pumping more than most other altcoins out there, but not as much as Solana. Obviously, Solana is pumping around 9%. But nonetheless, the digital gold is pumping. And so right now, let's talk around what the speculation is around this announcement. Because if you don't know, the SEC may know notify issuers about a spot Bitcoin ETF approval as soon as either tomorrow or Wednesday. Now this is based on Reuters in terms of their news outlet. So it's not just some random person spilling out fake news. It's coming from what we would call a reputable source. So take that with a grain of salt. But also keep in mind how many other applicants are waiting for their applications to be approved per spot Bitcoin ETF. As you can see here from this list, we have a ton out there. And the earliest one that we could see, well, it was expected around January 10th for ARK Invest. But right now, it could be as soon as tomorrow. We do know that right now there are different companies like BlackRock who raises around $10 million in seed investments from their clients ready for this ETF, but also Bitwise has 200 million. That's around 20 times more than what BlackRock has right now. So really, I think institutions, give or take, depending on their clients, are ready to really have some exposure to Bitcoin, considering that the halving for Bitcoin is just a few months away in April. And what the crazy thing is back on December 6th, we saw that JP Morgan CEO, Jamie Dimon, said that he would just close down Bitcoin. He you know, was telling people on the stand at the hearing with Elizabeth Warren on the stand saying, you know what, cryptocurrency is for criminals, it's for money laundering. We should really just close this whole crypto thing down. But we just found out not too long ago that under BlackRock's application for their ETF, one of the authorized participants, believe it or not, was JP Morgan. So as much as Jamie Dimon is saying, hey, we don't want crypto to be around, it's more it's more like you gotta follow what they're doing and not what they're saying. Jamie Dimon really works for the bank and the bank does some really crazy shady things. It's centralized and you know we already know why people should take custody of their own funds. So that's why Bitcoin was created. But also what's crazy is that just this morning, we saw that Mike Novogratz, who is the CEO of Galaxy Digital say this. He said, Happy New Year, big things coming. Then it said, block your calendar. Now, Invesco is one of the hedge funds that is filing for a spot Bitcoin ETF. For him to say something like that, just as of today, has gotten people really bullish because we do know that Invesco, along with all these other hedge funds, have had a ton of meetings recently over this past month with the SEC. It's kind of crazy how many meetings that they've had, but they've had to amend many of their applications. I think there's a reason for that. Now, the Wolf of Wall Street was saying that Bitcoin is trading like an ETF is about to be approved because he's looking at what the charts are saying. But also when you looked at the charts themselves, based on Bitcoin's daily trend, he's seeing that the breaking out of a pull pendant after nearly a month of consolidation, because we did see that Bitcoin was hovering around 42, 44,000. But within that time, he thinks that the target base on the measured move from the length of the flag is roughly 
54,000. So he kind of took a bull flag, he took the pole, and then he put it right here, and he's saying that's probably gonna be around 54,000 at some point or another, we just don't know when. And just consider this, right? We are only on the first day of 2024, right? January 1st. And within that time, you've seen Bitcoin pump massively since then. So I think this is why a lot of the hedge funds are trying to get their applications really approved as soon as possible before the Bitcoin halving, but also maybe they want a piece of the pie, right? As much as this is all amazing, you know, we can also see that Bitcoin's order book, which lists a lot of different shorts, don't want Bitcoin to reach 45,000. So people are placing their short positions and saying, no, Bitcoin should be lower than that. And if their positions are good, then basically their order books will be filled and people who are longing the position for a positive 45,000 or above will get liquidated. But the thing is, we're not seeing that, we're seeing the quite opposite. So if we break a past 45,000 even higher, we're gonna see that a lot of people who are shorting against Bitcoin are gonna end up getting liquidated. So just keep that in mind. We could see a huge skyrocketing effect with Bitcoin if that's the case. Let's talk about this. This is actually breakout right here. This is where we saw that there was this trend, but now it broke out of this, which is kind of a bullish sign, but it doesn't really matter. You always have to be realistic, right? You can't just be bullish, FOMO in and have this euphoria sign. So you have to really take your emotions aside, pull back and see what is this trying to tell me? The charts can tell you a lot of different things, but maybe it's a bullishness or a bearishness. But we do know over time, if in, even if we see some bearishness sentiment within a short time frame, if it's this month or maybe even two months from now or even three months, no matter what, we've seen a historical bull run with Bitcoin after every halving. So we could see even through 2024 to the 2025 range that maybe 2024 won't bull rally right until tomorrow. Maybe it's going to take time. Maybe we'll experience a dip. And then later on, by the end of the year, we're going to reach all those all time highs, right? The ones that we want to see. So. I think really we have to see some bearish sentiment, right? So Bitcoin News shared this, that some of the option data indicate that the interest in the ETF is relatively low, with January 12th options declining rather than rising, suggesting that investors are not expecting significant price swings following the ETF's approval. Now, this is from this source, which is Greeks Live. I don't even know what that is. Again, take this with a grain of salt. You do have to do your own research, but it's always good to see the bearish sentiment of things in case things don't go well. I think uh, Anthony Pompliano, who is a huge Bitcoin advocate, this is a great amount of advice I think you should read from his actual Twitter post. He says, my advice is to go into spot Bitcoin ETF approval with low expectations. If things go well and Bitcoin price rises, you'll be pleasantly surprised. If things don't go well and Bitcoin's price goes down, you will have at least expected it. So basically he's saying, if it goes up, hey, great for everybody. If it goes down, don't be surprised, right? So I just wanna share a conclusion and statement with Bitcoin. Right now we're seeing that it's roughly around 44,000 even at the time of this recording. Anything can happen. We're seeing that right now, we're hoping that there's gonna be a spot Bitcoin ETF approval announcement by tomorrow. But if that doesn't happen, you could expect retracements back to even 43, maybe even back to 42. The thing is, there's gonna be a lot of shakeout. It's gonna be a lot of volatility from now until January 10th, hopefully, you know, a spot Bitcoin ETF announcement will happen and be approved. We don't know how many will be approved if it's just one applicant or all the hedge funds all together. But the thing is, you just need to be prepared. So, you know, you've seen everything within the bullish sentiment, but also the bearish sentiment as well. So hopefully do plan accordingly. Make sure to stay informed, stay educated, as what we do on our channel is to do that for you, is to give you the timely updated news what's happening in the cryptocurrency world, but especially with Bitcoin. So if you want to stay up to date with everything that's going on with Bitcoin, please smash that like button and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page to receive all of our alpha calls, both our buy and sell orders with cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, and other digital assets. Till then, see you guys and girls next time.